I'm gonna have yours though. I have to pull this apart again. And this time I'm gonna change this fan belt. I've got about one full session of recording and playback out of this deck. Put it away. I'm going to reuse this deck again to record the next day. And the fan belt inside this deck started slipping again after I uh, the sandpaper method did not last to fix that belt. So I'm lucky it didn't jam and start slipping in the belt while well, there was a cassette in there. So it does that, the head stuck down and I can't get the tape out. I can't ever get this apart. So I've got this plate off. It's still in the special plate for the motor. As you can see there, the motor's still spinning. So I got the belt to grab. See there, I moved a little bit, but I can't get the belt to move enough. So it turns the motor off, so I'm going to have to uh, do this manually. So, pull this apart one last time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace that fan belt with a new one. Now that I've got my uh, spare belts. I hate pulling things like this apart. They're good when they're reliable, but when you need to work on them, little things break. I've rebuilt this tape counter, because this thing, the clip broke, so I had to rebuild it and make an clip to hold this in place. So. I'm going to replace this fan belt once and for all and hopefully I should not need to pull this apart again. So uh, I'm going to have to redo that screw bond because that plastic thread's all bonded out. So this will be the last time I'll pull this thing apart. So, so I'm going to replace that belt for good and it should be reliable. So yeah, the sandpaper method to re-buff the belt up to get it to renew. It's only a temporary fix, it's not a permanent solution. So. Replace that drive top once and for all, make that thing reliable again. So if that gets stuck again on the tape in it, I'm never going to get it apart to fix it ever again. This will be stuck in it for life. I scored these today too. The local tip shop, really cheap, a dollar for all those. A heap of pre recorded ones there, but I went for the uh, vintage ones so they have someone else's recordings on them. Japanese made, Hong Kong, and yep. 1980s style quality tapes. Back then they were good quality than some of the more modern cassettes. Use these as test tapes. I'm going to record some of these of uh, music from the um, public domain so I can do some tests on these future beer boxes. I can do demos on these using music that's in the public domain without infringing copyright so you can hear for yourself how good these sound. Low noise. So this would be a bit of a quiet sounding tape. Some tapes are like that back then. It sounded quite a hissy on some equipment, in my experience. Made in air. Where the hell is that? Hmm, I wonder if it's a country somewhere. Or a town. Made in air. Heh, never heard of it. Never heard of the place. Ooh, red. I don't even know if it's ever been used. Carl Hines Castell Music. Side 2 is black. Oh, that has never been, oh, has been used. Golden Days Radio. Good tapes, these. I used to love these. These and BASF were very good tapes. Made Hong Kong, Audio Sonic, came up brand. Never buy this brand now, these are a piece of shit brand. Seen that much TVs get thrown out by this bloody company, Audio Sonic. They make crap now. Always been a budget came up brand. Hal Roach is an Irish comedian, by the way. So before I can enjoy these and use them relive the good old days, I'm going to repair this bloody tape deck so I can record with it. So, yeah, get this thing reliable again. Let's go get the, cape, uh, the cassette belt kits out. We can get this thing rebuilt. Much as I hate to pull this thing apart, but once I replace this spot, I shouldn't need to pull it apart again. All right, finally did it. My God. What a bloody nightmare. Feel that. Did some bit of talk on that now. I also put alcohol on the little drive wheel that runs on here. There's a little rubber idler. I rubbed this on it, cleaned it up, and it restored its um, ability to actually play a tape and take up the wheel properly now. Because that rubber was a bit uh, slippery and dirty. So this fixed it very nicely. I'll have to use this on my um, sharp boom box now because that slips when it rewinds it, it won't rewind so it's going to need some of this to give it a clean. But it all works fine now. Yeah, I've actually changed the uh, 
the fast forwarding belt. The idler, the actual belt that fast forwards it, that was even harder to change. What a nightmare. That's our playback belt, which turns the unit off as well, which it doesn't do much when it slips and maybe just sits there slipping on the belt. That one had to go. And this is a belt that did the fast forwarding, and this was slipping too, so I couldn't fast forward the tape. This restored it a little bit, but not uh, reliably enough, so I changed it anyway. So, they're screwed. How can we play back? What have we got here? Reading service of Mary and Taylor and Brian Wilson. Huh, let's have a look. Probably black. Hmm, doesn't stop though. It has trouble picking up the tension of the tape to stop. The sharp one works perfectly. I get that some of our decks, most tape decks, it doesn't actually want to stop. You put your finger on it and press and it works, but there's not enough, it's not sensitive enough. Let's see what's on this tape, eh? Probably a recording of someone's wedding. Fifteenth of the second, nineteen eighty six, four PM. Okay, this must be blank, so it's on side A by the looks of it. Yeah, it's all side A, side B, it's got nothing. No. Let's have a look here. What about this? Works very well now. Hmm. I'm up with some personal stuff on here. <laughs> Part of the fun. Nothing at all. I'll keep the winding. Counter works good. It's nice and solid too. It was real loose before, before I fixed it. Wow, this works beautifully. Alright, I'll find where that recording is just for a quick. I won't play much, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Just playing back a bit of it when they walk down the aisle. Both decks play back at the right speed too. Works very well. <laughs> fifth, fifth of the second, 1986. Mono. It's a normal bias. Type B in noise reduction. Married service of Marion Taylor and Brian Wilson. 1982, Japan, assembled in the Republic of Korea, South Korea, so probably a Samsung built or gold star built tape. Interesting, 1982, the Japanese were cutting it down there, cutting the manufacturing down, these tapes. Back this way. So a Japanese tape that's assembled in South Korea, so it may be assembled by uh, LG or Samsung at the time by the looks of it. Cockle quality stuff. And that's it. We've got about, I'd say about 30 minutes of recording of a wedding there, so prepared quite well. Anyway, viewers, uh, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.